big game. Leroy, who's got his switch handy. As this young man said, he likes to play big games during big matches, and it doesn't get any bigger for big game Leroy than this matchup. I've wanted to wrestle here for years. It's a fancy nightclub, hosted some of the best wrestling matches ever, and now I get to put my name with those same legends of the independence. Leroy got a lot of local publicity here in the New York City area after the last of all event. shows I got the opportunity to speak to Gargano and he gave, you know, he took the time to give me advice and that meant so much to me. Keep doing your thing, I keep coming with new things with that. Like, like it is, it is clever, a lot of people do good stuff. Thank you so much. Every time you there. Yeah, hopefully I'll get a chance to see you. I hope so. Hi guys. Absolutely say that during lockdown, um, Johnny Gargano's conversation, that advice that he gave me at Evolve, uh, kept me pushing forward. I really, really was struggling early on. And all I could think about was him saying like, hey, you need to go out there and you need to show what you can do. You need to always be able to come out with new things. And all I was thinking about is, when I get the chance to wrestle, this is what I'm gonna do. When I get the chance to go back out there for the fans, this is how I'm gonna do it. And that was the motivation that really was like, once I get back out there, once it's locked down, just lift it just a little bit, it's go time. I can't, and I can't slow down. Look at it, like, so when I was a kid, I never actually, like, had money to afford, like, a title. Because those even the fake ones are really expensive. So the titles I win in wrestling now are, like, my real titles, you know? I never got to hold titles. Oh, what up? What's going on? Fucking congrats, man. <laughs> nice Yo, mask. <laughs> those cartridges are fucking dope, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I picked it, too, because it has, like, all my friends, you know? Look, literally, Bones is right there. We got to eat a surreal. And I thought it was a cool way to kind of get everybody involved. Uh, you started off as a student to now where you are today. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I mean, having a merch table, having a title, and then all at once. Like, that's really surreal, man. It's really, really surreal. <laughs> Try to draw a Nintendo Switch. Not too bad, right, for me put on the spot. <laughs> Yo, we should trade right now. Yo, you want to trade? Hell yeah, let's trade a pen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do your thing. No, by all means, thanks, Dan. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that something? I gotta worry about you? I gotta worry about you? Nah, nah, we're friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, then he wins, he wins that briefcase, and then he's gonna face me next month, and he's gonna try to take my title. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Between me and you, you know, I've had a title before, and I lost it the first time I defended it. So, uh, hoping to break the curse and uh, not have that happen tonight, you know. Part of what I'm trying to do in wrestling now, you know, I just I have a lot to prove, you know, and I think people look at me and they're like, oh, Leroy, you got his due. I want to be one of the best. I want to be remembered. Not just for going viral one time, but for really changing the way people see professional wrestling, the way people see this art. I want people who don't maybe think about pro wrestling to maybe love it and fall in love with it the same way I did as a kid. The same way I still do as a 24 year old, you know? <laughs> I think I'm getting closer to who I'm meant to be in wrestling, you know? Not just because I have this, but because of what I'm willing to do to keep it.